Thanks, Emil. Hi, my name is Kurt Freitag, and I'm the Director of Product Management for Neo4j Aura. And I'm here to talk to you about Aura itself and how we designed it and what product offerings we have today. As you all well know, getting started with any database is a challenge. You need to procure or purchase hardware or in the cloud, VMs. You need to install software. You need to keep that software and the underlying OS up to date. You need to deal with maintenance, ensure that disks don't run out of space. You need to develop and deploy a backup strategy and ensure that you can recover from data loss. And for all of this, increasingly, you need specialized expertise. You need people that understand the new technologies that you're increasingly adding to your infrastructure. And we knew that in developing Neo4j Aura, this is the most basic problem that we could solve for you. Take away the onus of operations. But we also knew that Neo4j Aura could be far more than just a hosting service that solved operations. As Emil described, Graph is a technology that accelerates innovation. And as we married Neo4j with the cloud, we wanted to rethink database as a service and imagine how the service itself could accelerate innovation. And in doing so, we developed three pillars that guided our design and development of Neo4j Aura. The first is simplicity. We designed Neo4j Aura as a cloud native service. And in thinking about how to marry Neo4j with a cloud native technology, it was our belief that an ideal technology should be simple to the point of being nearly invisible. The first tenant in our simplicity story is about automation. We wanted to make sure that getting started with Neo4j Aura was as easy as it could possibly be. And we also wanted to make sure that once you got started with Aura, you didn't have to worry about anything. So we designed Aura from the ground up to manage everything about operating Neo4j automatically. Whether that's rolling out a software update, patching the underlying OS, or dealing with flaky cloud infrastructure, Neo4j Aura takes care of it automatically. And we wanted this to be proactive, fully automated, and simply invisible to you. The second facet of simplicity is pricing. When we got started building Neo4j Aura, we looked around at other databases of service offerings. And the published pricing usually looks pretty good. But there's often a bunch of fees that are hidden or that you can't figure out in advance. Here's bandwidth, backups, storage, operations. Trying to figure out in advance what it's going to cost you to run a database as a service is virtually impossible. That didn't work for us as customers of these services, and we didn't think that our customers should suffer through the same challenges. So we decided to make Aura's pricing simple. The third tenet of simplicity is related to updates and upgrades. Nobody likes upgrading software, especially when it's part of your critical infrastructure. It's part of the burden of management and operations. So our opportunity in becoming a cloud-first company was to go as far as we could in eliminating versions and eliminating the need to think about software upgrades. So we designed Neo4j Aura from the beginning to be always up to date, to eliminate the need to have to think about upgrades. The second pillar in our design approach to Neo4j Aura is flexibility as one of the fundamental promises of the cloud is that it frees you of constraints. The flexibility of Neo4j Aura is that it allows you to create a database and work where you want and when you want to. And we worked early to make Neo4j Aura available across the globe. We leveraged the automation that I talked about earlier to make database deployment a non-event. Need a database in London now? Spin it up in a few minutes. Done with it? Take it down and pay for only the time you used. We also knew that customers would need to have the flexibility to choose to place Neo4j Aura in the cloud of their choice. So we invested early and significantly in making Neo4j Aura cloud agnostic. So whereas we started early with GCP, 
it allowed us to push quickly into AWS and set our sights on expanding into Azure so that customers can place Neo4j or in their cloud of choice. Third, we designed Neo4j or for effortless on-demand scaling. You can't always anticipate how and when your needs will change. And you need the flexibility to elastically scale your database up and down as your needs change. Finally, doing business with Neo4j should be easy. And so we designed Neo4j Aura and the way our business terms work to be flexible. You should be able to get started with a credit card in a matter of minutes, involve your purchasing department in procurement where appropriate, or leverage the cloud spend you've committed to a public cloud provider and buy through marketplaces. The third pillar of Neo4j Aura's design is reliability. And as a database vendor, you'd think that reliability would go without saying, but it doesn't and it can't. Reliability is so critically important, not just to delivering the Neo4j Aura service, but to the core philosophy of Neo4j as a company and Neo4j as a product. We believe your data is sacrosanct. We have a strong, opinionated, and an unwavering commitment to data consistency. That makes us and our database a bit different than some other modern databases. It also affects how we go about building the service that delivers it. It starts at the center with Neo4j, the database, an ACID compliant database that ensures transactional consistency. So when Neo4j says your data has been committed, it's absolutely there. We designed our service with the same principles. We wanted to ensure the greatest possible availability for customers and the greatest resilience to the inevitable failure of underlying cloud infrastructure. So we built an automatically self-healing always-on architecture so that customers can rely on the system automatically recovering from any underlying problem. On top of this foundation, we planned fully managed backups so the customers never have to worry about recovering from accidental data loss. Backups in Neo4j Aura are entirely for customers' benefit. People make mistakes, code goes awry, and data gets accidentally deleted. Automated backups are a fail-safe and a recovery mechanism. They're also a way to replicate production data for local storage and local development, as well as for staging and, and testing use. And reliability and security are also inextricably tied. And we designed Neo4j Aura from the inside out with security in mind. Just as storing your data reliably is our commitment, so is securing it. At each step of the design process, we engineered in security to ensure that the final product would have a cohesive and coherent security posture. And finally, our fundamental commitment to reliability and the design decisions we made while building Neo4j Aura allowed us to guarantee a three and a half nines availability SLA to our enterprise customers from day one. All this thinking and planning, all this intentional focus on simplicity, flexibility, and reliability for your benefit has been poured into the development of Neo4j Aura. And we've produced what we truly believe is the world's best graph database as a service. The first offering of that is Neo4j Aura Professional, which we launched just a little over a year ago. Neo4j Aura Professional is a self-service offering that you can get started with by going to neo4j.com slash Aura. And all it takes is a click of a button and a credit card. All you have to do is give your database a name and choose where in the world you'd like it to reside. True to our guiding principles, Neo4j Aura takes care of the rest and gives you the flexibility to focus on your business. Database deployment is completely automated and happens in a matter of minutes. And scaling is on demand from a single gigabyte of RAM up to 64 gigabytes of RAM as your needs change. As a cloud-first company, 
Neo4j now delivers software first to the cloud and to Aura. That means that you never have to think about version upgrades. Neo4j Aura is always up to date with the latest features, the latest performance upgrades and patches. Also, Neo4j Aura fully manages the, all of this automatically. Software updates, security patches, it even monitors and replaces troublesome cloud infrastructure. It does this invisibly, and it does this uniquely while maintaining continuous service availability. Additionally, all your data is encrypted end to end in transit and at rest using the latest cryptographic ciphers. As importantly, in Neo4j Aura Professional, the pricing is simple. Aura Professional is priced simply based on the gigabytes of RAM that you allocate to the database. There are no hidden fees, no bandwidth storage backups or operations. It's exactly what it says on the page. That's exactly what you pay. And this first year of Aura Professional has been spectacular for our users. Customers who had previously been self-hosting with Neo4j report that they have gotten deployment to production four times faster with Neo4j Aura. And Aura Professional is running at massive scale. We're processing over 5 billion queries per month in Aura Professional. And that number grows every month. We knew from the beginning that we were building a service that would ultimately target and serve our most demanding and largest customers. That's why our guiding principles were so important and the foundation we built so critical. We also knew that our largest customers would have the most stringent needs around three critical areas, security, scale, and support. And as we expanded on Aura Professional to expand on each of these axes, we built and have recently delivered Aura Enterprise. And so we're really excited today to talk to you about Neo4j Aura Enterprise and solving for the needs of our largest customers. With Neo4j Aura Enterprise, we've made huge advances in security. Aura Enterprise builds on the fundamentally strong security foundation of Aura Professional to add role-based security. So whereas Aura Professional controls access through encryption and password-based authentication, Aura Enterprise adds role-based access control so that customers can control by independent persona permissions level access to the database itself. Further, Aura Enterprise adds fine-grained schema-based security so that customers can further control what data individual users can see within the database. An example business application of this could be in the medical field where you have a doctor and a customer service representative for the same medical practice accessing the same data and getting different views just based upon their access credentials. The doctor being able to see diagnosis information and the customer service representative only being able to see customer contact information. And that managed purely through permissions in the database. We've also added dedicated VPC isolation to Aura Enterprise. So with Aura Enterprise, every customer's environment is fully isolated in a VPC that's dedicated to that customer. And it's not just the database, it's everything about the customer's environment. So whether it's the networking or the logs or the data for the database itself or the backups, everything is isolated in a dedicated VPC, solving for the critical data governance, but also security and compliance needs of our largest customers. And just as we've advanced our technical security posture, We've also advanced our organizational security posture. In the past year, we've achieved ISO 27001 compliance and 
from the very beginning with Aura, we've been GDPR compliant and now CCPA compliant. And we continue our work on the compliance frameworks and are working towards SOC 2. The second axis on which we've been working with Aura Enterprise is scale. Our largest customers have the largest workloads and Aura Professional stops at 64 gigabytes of RAM. Today, Aura Enterprise supports up to 256 gigabytes of RAM. And every day we work on increasing the size of support for the database workloads in Aura Enterprise. With scale comes the need for guaranteed performance. And whereas Aura Professional is a multi-tenant system that works really, really well for a large number of customers, Aura Enterprise ups the ante and delivers dedicated infrastructure within that VPC specific to each customer. Additionally, as customers scale, they often build tighter and tighter both operational and financial relationships with specific public clouds. Part of supporting scale then is supporting a choice of cloud. So we launched Aura Professional on GCP, where it runs today. Aura Enterprise is available on GCP and generally available and on AWS in early access. And we've already started work on Aura Enterprise on Azure, targeted at the end of this year. Similarly, with scale comes the need to have all your infrastructure as geographically close to your application as possible. Aura Professional supports eight GCP regions around the world which solves for the needs of most of our Aura Professional customers. With Aura Enterprise, however, customers can choose to deploy their database in any GCP region or any AWS region across the globe. Finally, scale often means significant financial commitment. And many of our larger customers have committed significantly to public cloud providers with committed cloud spend. To support their preferred purchasing model and to enable them to draw down on this committed spend, Aura Enterprise is already integrated with GCP marketplace billing and AWS marketplace integration forthcoming in the next month. The last axis on which we've expanded for Aura Enterprise is on support. Our largest customers with the most mission critical needs need the most critical support. So Aura Enterprise support provides the same level of support as our Enterprise Edition self-hosted software. Includes access to 24 by seven by 365 premium support with a one hour response guarantee for SEV1 issues. And as I mentioned before, we built an architecture that's both self-healing and always on. And that's allowed us to, out the gate, deliver a three and a half nine uh, SLA guarantee for availability. And importantly, we've staffed Neo4j or experts in all global time zones. So critical questions and issues are addressed in a timely fashion. We are really excited about the availability of Neo4j Aura Enterprise and what our customers have already started doing with it. As I mentioned, Neo4j Aura Enterprise is available today on Google Cloud and in early access on AWS. We've started work on Neo4j Aura Enterprise on Microsoft Azure and expect that later this year. And today, we're also announcing that we plan to release Neo4j Aura free to solve for individual developers who want to learn about Neo4j, experiment and run small hobby projects. And we'll have more news soon about when that'll be entering general availability. Now, I want to hand it over to Kay to talk a little bit about what our customers have been doing with Aura Enterprise. Thanks, 